Here's an example of how to see group rotation in any list that you have in EdgeRater. So right now you see I have a major markets ETFs list. So this is a list of ETFs that represent major markets around the world. And once I have that list, all I have to do is go to my chart scripts and choose my raw relative strength for ranking or any other ranking indicator. And then I go over to managed code, choose rank by value and take the top, uh, I'm going to just say 100 here, even though I don't have 100 in this index, in this group, I'm going to choose 100 and then run. And what you'll see is now the grid at the bottom has these indexes or these ETFs ranked by uh, their raw relative strength value. And I can see how they've changed over time. Now, if I press, uh, click any one of these cells, hold my control key down and scroll my wheel mouse, you'll see that the grid actually zooms out. So now I'm able to scroll down here and see how the relative strength has changed over time and how it compares to all of the other ETFs in that list. And you can do this for any list. It doesn't just have to be major markets ETFs. You could do it on the S&P 500 and you would get a uh, ranking indicator to show you how the rank of all of the securities in that list have been changing over time. The very le left hand column is the most recent date and then it goes back in history through um, the further right you get to this grid. And if you want to, if you've zoomed out or zoomed out so that it's hard to see what the actual symbol is below the cursor, what you can do is you can just double click on any one of those cells and it will pop up the security chart. So here comes the security chart. And now I can see that that is XLP. And if we had these two screens arranged side by side, I can just scroll up and down and I could see that uh, chart uh, change as I'm scrolling up and down through the list. So there we go. That's a very easy way to see how ranking, ranking has changed over time. Today um, is Wednesday. My last update here was Tuesday. And so at the top of the list, I can see that home construction was actually the highest ranked group uh, out of all of these ETFs. And the lowest, and it's been low for a long time, is natural gas. So there we go, very easy. Play around with that, have, uh, have fun, and I'll see you in the next video.